Hi, it's Novastar again, and I'm here to demonstrate some very basic savers. Here we have a uh, 1.25 inch sink tube, and that's pretty much it that's making up this saber. The other part up here, the emitter, is Tim's uh, from the custom saber shop, Tim's the owner. Uh, the 1.25 inch uh, blade holder, I don't know if they're available right now, um, but it's the black anodized one, it's very simple, um, simple part. This is just a washer, and I put a lot of electrical tape on here. And then down here we have like the screw cap. What you can see inside here is the recharge port. It's because inside here, uh, just underneath uh, the sink tube naturally inside, is a 3.6 volt uh, lithium ion battery. Uh, then you have the switch, it's very easy. And that's pretty much it. There's no resistor, nothing. It's just the battery, the switch, and the two leads leading up to the uh, LED and you get your nice blue. This uh, Sabre made its little debut on, during the Hyperdyne uh, videos that I was making comparisons to because this is probably one of the only nice blues that I have technically. Now the funny thing is this uh, diffuser is the Master Replicas diffuser and as it probably looks it's pretty evenly bright um, for it being this diffuser because the LED is doing such a great job and it's a shorter blade. It's not too long. I think I'm, these are supposed to be the Potawan blades. But anyways, there's no mirror tip in this. So it's not a very good example, or even the one that I used on the Hyperline video, and it, it showed up relatively bright. Anyhow, again, why do we not use a resistor? This is good to remember, just so you know again. Because the battery voltage pretty much matches the LED itself, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay. Um, so there's that one. Some other examples, what other things can you do? Well, you can put like some kind of fun stuff. I use some washers here and use some tape to hold them in place, and it kind of makes it look nice, like a neat little you know, thing. If you look up close, it looks kind of, you know, rinky-dink and whatnot, but it's nice from a distance. It's the whole point of making these as pot on blades. This is another beautiful blue. This blade is another MR diffuser and uh, tip, so it doesn't have a mirror in it either. <laughs> it's about the same, I think, color-wise, as this one. Yeah, there's a slight difference in color. This one's brighter. I like this one better. It's probably just better overall as a blue, and it's just exceptionally bright. I can't wait to put a real diffuser on this. I just never got around to it when we were rushing for a balance of power three, which isn't going on right now, but that's okay. So again, you can see it's very similar. There's almost no differences whatsoever. The washer's a little different, and otherwise it's all the same. The, when I take this out, you can see the recharge port in there. Okay, another one. This one was actually made by Gundamaniac on TSS, and that's Brian Lai he was helping us out here because he's in the area. This is a different color and I don't know if the video is going to show it very much but it's much more teal. It's a very pretty color, not as bright um, and I think that's just life. That's just how it works. Again, it's another MR diffuser uh, and uh, ooh, there's something inside the blade now. I can't tell. I don't know why but I can see some like, dots in there. You probably can't see it. Oh, there they are. Um, but anyhow, very similar. He put the switch uh, lower and we did a little bit different style here. We kind of put this lumpy uh, uh, washer over it and I cut a hole out in it so that we could uh, fit the switch in there. But um, either way, different. Now we'll talk about some paint on here. This one, I don't know if you can catch the texture on there. What I should do is get the light on over here. That will help. And you can see that there's some texturing going on there. Let's see if we can get the camera to really pick that up. Um, so there's paint. You can see it more on this part. Uh, but it really gives a nice sheen, uh, not sheen I should say, but it's just like a nice texture. It makes the saber look old, and something like that. Very simple to do with, again, <laughs> a sink tube, uh, one lithium ion cell, uh, the switch, and this is kind of in between the other ones, kind of a, a, a cyan. Nice cyan, not quite green cyan, but a good one. And a different kind of emitter, okay? And again, it's just another rubber one. Um, the paint's kind of coming off on this thing because, you know, it doesn't stick to it that well. But it's a nice blade overall, and it adds grip to it, the paint and everything like that. So again, what would be the cost on this if you thought about it overall? A sink tube is like six bucks, I mean, I think. Um, and, you know, you can never have enough of them. They add, you know, to other sabers. I've used them in my flange sabers as well. A switch, it's not very much at all, especially if you buy them in bulk somewhere. Um, lithium ion battery would be probably the most expensive part, but it's so worth it because you're going to recharge it over and over and over and over. Um, and, uh, you know, it provides a nice flat curve, as they say, or flatter uh, discharge curve, so you won't get that whole decline in the brightness. It will stay there for a, quite a long time, and then you'll see a dip near the end of the battery life. And if you use one of those, again, the ones that you guys know I just am in love with, the 18650 cells, 
uh, you're going to get a long battery run out of it. Okay. Um, the nice thing about that too is the one cell equals the 3.6 voltage and usually you can just run an LED right off of that. You don't need to uh, chain a whole bunch of batteries together and get all complicated. So, you know, sometimes it's very useful to uh, think about using the lithium ions and all that stuff. Here it is from a distance. Again, it's a nice blade. You know, whatever you want to do with it, it's going to be really nice. They're very light too. I don't know if I would consider them very balanced as you'll be able to tell. It's obviously going to be top heavy even though it's more of a Padawan style blade uh, because this uh, hilt is so light and it's so small that's the other thing too that's a beauty of it I don't remember what the length of this is but I think it's like seven to eight inches so it's extremely tiny very perfect for little hands and there you go well anyways that's about it for now um, I'm obviously gonna bring out other videos coming out soon because upcoming are the CF sound uh, fonts and the CD compendium that I'm making I don't know exactly what I'm going to name it, but it's essentially going to be the Crystal Focus Sound CD Compendium, and it will contain at least 15 sound fonts. That's right, 15 sound fonts. Pretty good. Um, of course, some of those will be the ones that have already released, like Nova Star and Black Star and Ancient Saber, but of course, I will have further kind of uh, tweaked them and improved them. Also, there's going to be all sorts of new fonts on there. There's going to be Episode 1, which sounds like the Darth Maul sounds. We're going to have uh, uh, a font that was inspired by Jonatas, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Judge Sabersmith, he goes by different names and whatnot, and that will be the kind of Zen font, I think we're going to call that the Satorai Zen font, something, Shaolin Saber, something like that, but it's a very nice font, I like that. I just finished a new one that no one's heard of on the threads, I haven't even mentioned it, but it's called the, uh, Na oh yeah, the Nano Deuce Saber. And it's sort of inspired by the game Deuce X, where they sort of had this nano augmentation thing going on in the game. Your character could get nano augmented. And uh, the sword was like a nano saber or something. And I always thought that was cool. I didn't use the sounds from the game because I don't want to run into some kind of copywriting problems. Uh, but uh, it's really cool. I like how it's come out. And there's going to be the water elemental saber, earth elemental saber. Hopefully I'm going to make this sort of magic saber also more for the kids it's going to sound more like a magic wand or something kind of fun and more kid like other things that are going to be on the cd we're going to put uh the stage combat tutorial so if you want to get some of the whole stage combat and how to move the saber and all that kind of stuff and the, uh, some good techniques on what you could do to put a system together well you can use my system if you want um other things you'll see on there the 250 battle that i've been mentioning yeah definitely that's going to be out there um, so you can watch that, 250 moves of fighting, it's, it's pretty intense, we weren't 100% ready to film it, but since Phil uh, decided to part ways with the BOP team, uh, you know, so we finished it. But uh, there you go, then the last thing is, uh, what we really wanted to make is so that you could download all the fonts in any of the versions that you have, so you can just pull the, you know, go into the right directory, double click on it, go into the right directory and pull out the sounds as you want, the defaults. Um, it's pretty much what Irv uh, has on his default packages, but I'm going to try to make it so that all of the fonts can be available that way, and you don't have to do really anything. You just drag them in and do what you want with them. Um, we'll see how that goes, but um, that's pretty much the idea, is to make it plug and play. I also have some de uh, tutorials on using GoldWave to uh, adjust sounds and do some uh, stuff like set up the .raw format so that you know people can mix their own sounds and do whatever they want. And there's going to be some bonus extras, like extra sounds that are unmixed that you can decide, hey, I'd like to see this in this font, so I'll mix it with the hum and throw it into Ancient Saber or uh, Episode 1 or something like that. So obviously I'm mixing a lot of stuff together, and uh, there you go. Well, I hope you learned something about, again, the, uh, the basic saber making. You can do this at home. Obviously, you can go to OSH and get a few little sync tube parts. Electrical tape is cheap as it gets. So you want to make a nice... Uh, a kid saber or whatever, let's do it. And then you let your kids do the noise on their own, right? I am the chosen one. Oh, yeah, bring it on, baby. Oh, man, I'm getting way too excited about this. That's sad, too, because the sound doesn't, it doesn't even have any sound, in it, and I'm, like, more excited. I like it better than my Crystal Focus sabers. Take care and have fun with your lightsabers.